Good morning, everyone. A very warm welcome to the yoga session hosted by Santa Clara County Library. It is so good to be back with all of you. Uh, I know I have taken a really long break this time. I had to attend to some uh, some work with my family. Um, so I'm back now and ready to teach. Well, we'll begin today's session in a seated position. So let's all settle down on the mat in a nice, comfortable seated position. And whenever you feel ready, gently close your eyes. Try to align your spine very nice and long. Stacking up your head over your shoulders and your shoulders over your hips. Keeping your shoulders nicely relaxed. Bring your awareness to all your facial muscles. Relax your jaw. Softly relax your tongue inside your mouth. And relax the space in between your eyebrows. Gently bring your awareness to your breath. Let's all take one very slow, deep, long breath in. And a long breath out. One more conscious, slow breath in. And exhale, let it go. By keeping your eyes closed, become aware of the space that is surrounding you. And send a gentle message to your mind that it's okay to relax. For the next one hour, let's all try to stay connected with our body, mind, and breath. Very slowly and gently begin to open your eyes by first bending the gaze towards the floor and slowly coming up to eye level. Let's begin today's class in a butterfly position. So we are going to take the soles of our feet towards each other. So pressing the base of your feet towards each other. Resting your hands on top of your ankles. All we are going to do is we are going to use our elbows to press into our inner thighs. And we are going to lead with our chin coming forward. So the chin does not tuck into the collarbone. We are going to try to lead with our chin and gently lean forward. So try to connect with your inner thighs, with your lower back. And then you feel, this is the max I can go. I cannot go any further. Just let go of your forehead now. So you're going to just let go of your forehead towards your feet. And breathe. Slowly lift your head up. Gently take your hands all the way up. Let's take our right hand, press it next to the body. And let's take the left hand all the way over, giving a side body stretch on the left side. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. And exhale, left hand comes down. Soften your left elbow. And let's take the right hand all the way over. Inhale, take both your hands all the way up. Exhale, release your hands. Let's take the support of our hands. Slowly extend the legs all the way out. 
Extend your arms, try to sit up really nice and tall. Point and flex. Point and flex. Extend your legs really wide. So we are taking our legs beyond the frame of our, the, beyond the width of our mat. Take your heels and flex your feet. Gently take your hands all the way up. Palms facing forward, relax your shoulders and your neck muscles. So move your head a little bit. Come bring your head back to the center and, and gently as you exhale, simply rest your fingertips down. Don't rest your palm down, rest only your fingertips down. Both legs are engaged and active, so the toes are flexing right now. We're going to walk our right and the left. So walk your right hand forward and walk your left hand forward. Rest only your left palm down to the ground and take your right hand all the way up. Gently as you exhale, take your right hand and touch your right toes. If your hands don't touch the toes, it's okay if you rest it on your shin or on your thigh. Inhale, take your hand all the way up. Exhale. Two more, inhale. And exhale. One more. And exhale. This time, inhale, take your hand, face the palm forward and gently bring it onto your fingertips. Come back onto the fingertips of both your hands. So the left heel is, the knee of the palm is also released. Let's see if you can crawl a little bit more. Walk your right hand a little bit and walk your left hand a little bit. Press your right palm down to the ground. Both legs still engaged. Inhale, take your left hand all the way up. Exhale and touch. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. And exhale. And one last time. And exhale. Inhale, take your hand all the way up. Come facing forward. This time, bring it down, come back onto the fingertips of both your hands. Take your time. We have been in this forward bend for a little bit longer, so we're going to go back very slowly. Don't be in a hurry. Walk your right hand to the back. Walk your left hand to the back. Walk your right hand, bringing yourself into an upright seated position. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, take your left to the left. Right hand goes all the way over. Side body stretch. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, right to the right. Left hand goes over. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, release your hands. Take your palms facing outward. We're going to take the support of our hands. Rotate at the wrist. Place your hands to the back outside of your thighs and then walk your legs towards each other. Extend your arms, point and flex, point and flex and breathe. Let it go. Shake it off a little bit. Take your legs to one side and we're going to meet in a cat and cow position. So today we are going to use our cat and cow for two types of rotations. So it's going to be upper body, it's going to be wrist, shoulders and then our hips. Right? So I'm going to face forward, you can stay where you are. Gently only lift your right hand off the ground. Make a fist with your hand. So place your thumb inside, wrap it up with your four fingers and then gently rotate your wrist off a little bit and reverse the direction of the rotation. From here, try to make an L shape with your hand. We're going to rotate our right shoulder. So you're going to reach your right hand forward. One, two, three, and four. Reverse, one, two, three, and four. Place your right hand down to the ground. 
Then I'm going to turn. You don't have to do this. Adjust myself to the camera. Keep your toes tucked. Lift your right leg off the ground. Flex your feet. Bend your right leg at the knee. Take your right knee outward. We're going to rotate the hips. Work with the hips by rotating the leg. Right? So gently. One. Two. Three. And four. Reverse. One. Two. Three. And four. Slowly place your right leg down to the ground. You can relax your toes and wag the tail from side to side. And come back to the center. Let's do the left side. Starting with the wrist, then the shoulders, and then the legs. Right? So first, let's lift our left hand off, thumb inside, tap the four fingers, and then simply rotate your left wrist off in one direction. And reverse the direction of the rotation of your wrist. Bring your hand like an L shape. Focus on your left shoulder joint. Keep your hands loose. No need to keep the fist anymore. Let go of your fingers, right? And let's rotate. One, two, three, and four. Reverse. One, two, three, and four. Place your left hand down to the ground. Gently well, tuck your toes, both your legs. Extend your left leg all the way out. Keep your feet flexed. Bend your left leg, bringing your knee out towards the left side. And let's rotate. One, two, three, and four. Reverse. One, two, three, and four. Gently place your left knee down, relax your toes, and simply wag your tail from side to side. Slowly walk your hands back towards your body. So you're going to come up into a standing position on your knees. Let's all take our hands all the way up. Move your shoulder and your neck muscles a little bit. Thumb inside, wrapped up with your four fingers. One, two, three, and four. Reverse. One, two, three, and four. Stay. Open your palms really wide, the fingers really wide spread, right? And there's a lot of energy in the heel of your palm. So you're feeling the stretch in the center of your palm as you radiate your fingers out. Let's try to circle the arms. Let's take the hands all the way to the back. Rotate and bring it back up. Out and back. Two more, out and up. And one last time and up. Reverse, one. Two, three, and four. Gently release your hands and shake your hands off a little bit. Upper body, a little bit warmed up. We're going to use our cat and cow slightly differently today in two different ways. So we'll have two variations of cat and cow. So let's bring ourselves back to our basic cat and cow. Right? Uh, those of us, uh, this is new, so maybe you can just observe me and then we can all do it together. So just watch me for a second. You will all have our wrist in line with our shoulders. Our knee is going to be in line with our hips. We're going to tuck our toes and you can release the knees off the ground. Right? Holding like this, I'm going to turn slightly diagonally here so you can see me better. You're going to knock your knees like this, right? To the count of eight. So you're going to bump your knees towards each other. Right? Ready? Let's go. Set your position, wrist in line with the shoulders, knees in line with your hips, toes tucked. Slowly release your knees off the ground. 
Squeeze your belly. Ready? Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release your knees down. Relax your toes. Inhale, look towards the ceiling. And exhale, round your back. Inhale, look towards the ceiling. And exhale, round your back. Let's come into a neutral position. Tuck the toes. Those of us who can't lift our knees off, you can just do simple basic hand and cup. Those of us who can lift the knees off, lift your knees off. However, catch your breath. Ready? Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release your knees down. Relax your toes. Inhale, look towards the ceiling. And exhale, round your back. Inhale, look towards the ceiling. And exhale, down your back. Let's come into a neutral position. We're going to do one more variation of the cat and cow. Right? So those of us, remember, if you cannot do both legs, do one leg at a time. So we're going to extend the right leg out, catch the ball of the feet on the ground. Now, if you can't, we hold a plank. If you cannot hold a plank, then you can just keep one leg extended, drop it down, and then extend your other leg and drop it down. Right? Those of us who are able to do both, extend your right leg, catch the ball of the feet on the ground. Extend your left leg, catch the ball of the feet on the ground. So we are holding a plank right now. Ready? Hand and cow in plank. Inhale. Drop your hips a little bit closer towards the ground. Look towards the ceiling. Exhale, just hold the plank. So you're not going into downward dog, but when you come back, you hold your plank. Ready? Four times. Inhale. Exhale, hold your plank. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. And exhale. Hold the plank. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Press the knees down, relax your toes. Press your hips all the way to the back. Let's meet in child's position and take a break. Let go completely. Very slowly walk your hands back towards your body. Let's come up onto a standing position on our knees. I will walk forward for better view. Uh, I'm taking these breaks so that we can release the wrist off. Some of us are tender around the wrist, right? So I just want to be sensitive to that. So we can just get these breaks. Let's extend the right, left, right hand out and pull the fingers towards your body, stretching out the arm. And switch. Right hand, fingers, knuckles pointing forward. Pull the fingers towards your body. And left. And release. Shake, shake, shake. Let it go. And we're going to go back into our cat and cow. We'll have another variation, which is really nice and fun. So uh, you can watch me for the first round because it may be new and it might strain your neck if you try to do it simultaneously as I demo it, right? So just watch me for a second and then we can do it together. So we're going to meet in a downward dog. When we start together, right? Then we're going to pedal our legs off. We're going to dip our knees and we're going to touch and we're going to meet in downward dog. Simple, as simple as that, right? It's going to touch and back. That's it. Ready? Let's prepare. Rest in line with your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Release your knees off the ground. Gently pedal your legs. Whenever you're ready, just press both your heels down. You can walk your legs a little closer if you wish to, so your heels completely pressed onto the mat. And then take them slightly back because you need that room for your knees to dip down. Ready? Slowly bend both knees. Touch and up. Touch and up. So don't fully, uh, uh, this should be very softly pressed, right? Touch. And up, because you are ready to go back again. Touch 
and back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Let go. Let's push into child's position and take a break. Let go and catch a breath. Gently walk your hands back towards your body. Let's come up onto a standing position on our knees. Let's stretch out the shoulders a little bit. Take your right hand all the way out. Palm is facing forward. Take the arm across your body. Take your left. Tap it below and connect with your right shoulder blade. Let's simple shoulder stretch here and breathe. Same arm, take it all the way up below the elbow and then stretch your tricep muscles. To make sure you have space so you're not compressing your head into your collarbone, there is space. And switch. Left goes across. Feel your left shoulder blade. If you're not feeling anything, that means you need to pull it a little bit more. Or you can take your hand a little bit outward like this as well. Try that as well. See what works the best for you. If it is good here, or you slide and reach towards the outer, towards your hands. And take the same hand, left elbow bent, hand below your left elbow, room for head to move, stretch your triceps. Release your hands. Place your hands in front of your knees. Tuck your toes at the back. We are going to slowly make our way into standing position. Release your knees off. Gently walk your hands back towards your body. You will end up in a forward bend at the back of your mat. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Interlock your hands, press the heel of the palm all the way up. Widen your stand. Ready? Simple side body stretch. Let's take the hands all the way towards the right side. Start, originate your stretch from bumping up your hip, right? It's not about the shoulders. Don't focus here. Focus on pushing your hip away from the midline. And then everything follows automatically, right? So we're going to feel the stretch anyway on the left side all the way. Now, when you come back, squeeze your belly. Make your belly really tight. And then come back to the center. Move your head a little bit. Let's do the other side. Bump up your hip. Start with your pushing your hip away. Relax your jaw. Sometimes you'll stop breathing as well. Remember to breathe. And come back to the center. Release your hands. Let's rotate the shoulders. And reverse the direction of the rotation of the shoulders. And slowly walk your legs back towards you. I will demo this one as well. So just watch me and then we will do it together again. Right? So when we start together, what we're going to do is we're going to come into a forward bend. Then we're going to bend our knees. Right? Then we're going to take our hands and we're going to tuck it below our belly like this. And then we're going to press our belly into our thighs. Our palms are pressing into the belly as well. You're going to lift your hips and bring it back. Lift your hips and bring it back. As simple as that. Right? Let's do this. Keep your legs together. Slowly inhale. Let's give a back bend to the body. Arch up your back. Give a back bend to the body. Exhale, swan dive. And let's come into a simple forward bend. Bend your knees. So already there is a belly compression going on between your thighs and your belly. Right? They are pressing against each other. Now slowly take your hands and tuck it below your belly. Ready? Keep your hands just the way they are. Up 
and down. Up and down. Ready? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Keep your knees bent. Release your hands. Place your fingertips down. Work on straightening your legs if you can. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Find your back bend. Take it all the way to the back. Inhale. And exhale. Release. Rotate your shoulders off a little bit. And reverse the direction of the rotation of your shoulders. And let it go. Shake it off a little bit. Thighs are a little bit warmed up now. Let's take our legs a little bit wider. No longer within the frame of our mat, we are wider than the width of our mat, our feet. Then we're going to come into a forward bend. We're going to bend our knees and straighten. As simple as that. So we're going to work with our basic muscle groups today. So you'll notice that we are slowly starting to engage various muscles of the arms and the legs today. Slowly inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, press your hips back. Let's come into a forward bend. All you're going to do is you're going to bend and release. Bend and release. Six more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Gently inhale, take your hands all the way up. Let's give a back bend to the body. Arch up your back, look towards the ceiling. Raise your fingertips up. Circle your hands and let go. Watch me for a second, then we will do this again together. So what we are going to do is we are going to meet in a forward bend, but this time we are going to take one leg behind the other. So watch me for a second. Slowly take your hands. We are all going to take our hands, come back. Right? We are going to release our left leg and take that left leg all the way to the back like that. Right? And then we are going to bend our right knee. The left hand is supporting us. We already have our leg crossed. We are going to bend the back knee. So it's going to be one, two, and so on, right? You can take your right hand up if you wish to. If you feel loss of balance, place it down. You'll have more grounding to place your hand down, then you'll have more support, right? So let's come back into our position with our legs beyond the frame of our mat, beyond the width of our mat. Ready? Let's go. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, let's come into a forward bend. Keep your fingertips down to the ground. Whenever you feel ready, lift your left leg. Take that left leg all the way away from your body. So your right heel and your left are not one behind the other, but way far away, right? Keep your left fingertips down to the ground. Those of us who can, lift your right hand off. Now bend your back knee. One, two, three, and four. Come back, place your right hand down, take your left leg back in position, inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, release, take a break. Let's give a supported back bend to the body. Place your hands on your lower back. The heel of your palm is pressing into your lower back on both sides. Soften your knees a little bit. Let's give a back bend to the body. Straighten your knees. Once again, remember how we did in the beginning of the class, the beginning of this sequence, bending of the knees, we are going to do that. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, press your hips back. Come into a forward bend. Bend both knees and straighten. Bend and straighten. Four, three, 
two, and one. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, arch up your back. Exhale, reach your fingertips up, so take your hands and let it go. This time, we are going to come into a forward bend and take the right leg behind the left. So we already know we can do this together. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, press your hips back, come onto your fingertips. Breathe. Gently take your right leg all the way to the back of your left. Rest your right palm down if you wish to. Take your left hand all the way up. Totally optional. You can have both your hands down if you wish to. Ready? Let's go. One. Two. Three. And four. Gently place your left hand down to the ground. Slowly step your right leg all the way back in position. Slowly inhale, take your hands all the way up. Give a back bend to the body. Reach your fingertips up. Circle your hands. And let's rotate the shoulders up a little bit. And reverse the direction of the rotation of the shoulders. And we're going to give one more forward bend. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, press your hips back. Let's come into a forward bend. Now walk your legs even more away from each other. So walk your right out towards the right side. Walk your left away from your side, so from the midline, right? Bend your right knee. Come back to the center. Bend your left knee. And come back to the center. Bend your right knee. Take your right hand. Press it to the inside of your thigh. Look over your right shoulder. Place your right hand down to the ground. Take your heel, point your right leg toes outward towards the right side. So make adjustment so you look like you are in warrior feet. If you feel you need to shorten, if you feel the distance is a bit too much, walk your back leg a little closer towards your body so you'll feel more stable. Pull the belly button towards you, come into warrior two position towards the right side. Drop your left on top of the left. Reverse the warrior. Take your right hand all the way over your head. Straighten. And bend. Straighten. And bend. Straighten. And bend. Smile. Straighten. And bend. Straighten. Stay. Bring your hands into warrior two arms, but legs are in locked in position, right? So we are not in warrior two. We're heading into a triangle. So start to drop your right hand down towards the ground. And remember at any point, if you feel the distance between your legs is a bit too wide, then you can shorten the distance by walking your back leg like that a little closer to you. And breathe. Pull the belly button towards you. Back to warrior two arms. Dig your heel, point all toes facing forward. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, press your hips back. Let's come into a forward bend. Bend your left knee, bump up your hip towards the left side. Take your left hand, press it into your thigh, look over your left shoulder. Right knee is locked, you're feeling the stretch in the right side. And breathe. Come back to the center. Straighten both knees. Take your heel, point your toes towards the left side. Again, if you wish to shorten the distance between your legs, make adjustments to find firm grounding. And then pull the belly button towards you into warrior two. And breathe. Take your time. No rush whatsoever. No pressure. Drop your right on top of the right. Clip your palm. Reverse the wall. You try to sit into the position a little bit more. Straighten. And bend. Straighten. And bend. Straighten. And bend. Breathe. One more. 
and bed. Straighten, stay, both knees slot. Back into warrior two arms, into triangle. Gently take your left hand down towards the ground. And breathe. Pull the belly button towards you. Gently let's meet in warrior two. Drop your hands down. Straighten your knee. Dig your heel, point your toes, all toes facing forward. Slowly toe heel yourself and come back to the center and shake your legs off a little bit. All right, little bit warmed up with the legs as well and the arms. Let's step to the front of our mat. Hands into prayer arms. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, arch up your back. Exhale, fly your hands on back, come into a forward bend. Let's step the right leg all the way to the back. The back heel is off the ground. You're pressing that heel all the way to the back. We're going to come into an easy twist. So take your right hand, press it to the ground. Take your left hand all the way up and breathe. Place your left hand down to the ground. So you're framing your left leg right now. You are on the balls of the feet of your back leg. Gently lift that leg all the way up. So you're not bringing the leg parallel to the ground, but you're trying to take it up all the way. And drop it down. Drop your right hand down to the ground. Take your left hand all the way up. Easy twist. Frame your left leg. Prepare to lift that right leg off. Take it all the way up. Single leg splits. Drop that right leg down. Last time. Easy twist. Front knee bent. Left hand goes up. Left leg, left knee bent. Frame and lift. Step your right leg forward. Forward bend. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Arch up your back. Exhale, swan dive. Come into forward bend. Remember the part where we pressed our hands into the belly? We're going to repeat that. So bend your knees a lot. Take your hands and tuck it below your belly. And drop your hips down. Ready? Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven and eight. Bend. Place your fingertips down. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Give a back bend to the body. Reach your fingertips up. Circle your hands and hands back to the heart center. Other side. Right? Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Arch up your back. Exhale, swan back. Come into a forward bend. Take your left leg all the way to the back. Press your heel all the way to the back. Left palm press to the ground. Right hand goes up. Easy twist. And breathe. Place your right hand down to the ground. Slowly work on lifting your left leg toes all the way up. Single leg splits. Drop your left leg down. Easy twist. Right hand comes down. Single leg splits. Lift it up. Left leg comes down. Right hand goes up. Frame your right leg. And lift. Breathe. Step your left leg forward. Forward bend. Inhale. Take your hands all the way up. Arch up your back. Now keep your fingertips up. I'm going to change this up a little bit. We're going to separate. I'm going to go back so you can see my hands. We're going to separate our hands. Think you're holding a ball in between your hands. Right? Simple chair position with pulses. Right? So bend your knees. Let's come into a chair. And out. That's it. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Five. Three. 
two, and one. And release, let go, rotate your shoulders off a little bit and reverse the direction of the rotation of your shoulders. And let's do a super easy sun salutation, very basic one, really nothing much. Hands to the heart center. Try to close your eyes, listen to your heartbeat. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, arch up your back. Exhale, swan leg. Come into a forward bend. Step your right leg all the way to the back. Arch up your back, look towards the ceiling. Step your left leg all the way to the back. Hold your plank. Drop your knees down. Relax your toes. Bend your elbows towards your body. Bring your chin to the ground. Inhale, let's meet in Cobra. Tuck your toes. Let's meet in downward dog position. And slowly start to pedal those legs off. Right leg steps forward. Arch up your back, look towards the ceiling. Left leg joins the right leg. Forward bend. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Arch up your back. Reach your fingertips up. Circle your hands, hands back to the heart center. Left side. Before we start, close your eyes. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Arch up your back. Reach your fingertips up. Circle your hands. Come into a forward bend. Step your left leg all the way to the back. Arch up your back. Step your right leg all the way to the back. Let's hold the plank. Option to rest your knees down. Let's all rest our knees down. Relax the toes. Bend your elbows towards your body and bring your chin to the ground. Inhale, let's meet in Cobra. Tuck your toes, let's meet in Downward Dog. And pedal your legs off. Left leg steps forward. Arch up your back. Right leg joins the left leg. Forward bend. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Arch up your back. Reach your fingertips up. Circle your hands. Hands back into prayer arms. And release. One round of sun salutation. Very basic one. Let's come down to the mat. We're going to take a moment to massage the back first. So lie down on your mat. Place your hands on top of your kneecaps. And slowly massage your back. Take your time, no rush whatsoever. And release. Drop your feet into bridge position feet. Rest your hands next to your body. Let's come into basic simple bridge. Slowly as you inhale, start to feel your lower back off the ground. Your mid back. Reach your belly button up towards the ceiling. Breathe. And shoulder blades down, mid back, lower back, and your tailbone. Gently take your right leg all the way up. Flex your feet. Drop your right ankle on top of your left knee. So we are heading into a reclining pigeon position. Figure four. Take your left leg all the way up. Thread your arms through. Take your hands behind your thighs. 
Drop your left ankle down towards the glutes. Or lift your head, take your arms around your shin and bring everything back down. Feel the stretch around your right glute. Both feet flexed and release, let go. Drop your left feet down to the ground. Drop your right feet down to the ground. Rest your hands next to your body. Just move your knees from side to side to massage the back a little bit. Come back to the center. Take your left leg all the way up. Flex your feet. Left ankle on top of your right thigh. Right leg goes all the way up. Thread your arms through. Drop your right heel towards the glutes. Lift your head up. Wrap your hands around your right shin. Bring your head down. Gently place your right feet down to the ground. Place your left feet back to the ground. Rest your hands next to your body. Let's make our way back into a bridge. Start to peel your lower back off and lift your belly button up. Rest your hips back onto the ground. Extend your right leg out. Bring your left thigh into your body. Flex all feet, both feet. Pull your thigh into your body. I want you to stretch those thighs really well. We did quite a few spots today. So you want to stretch those muscles out really well. Lift your head off the ground. Try to bring your nose towards your left knee. Bring your head down, stay. Take your left leg, the left knee towards your right side. So just take your knee towards the other side. Stretching that left glute and the lower back a little bit more. Gently come back to the center. And switch. Extend your left leg out and bring your right knee to your chest. Slowly lift your head off the ground. Bring your nose towards your right knee. Gently rest your head down. Take your right towards your left side. Open up your right arm. Spinal twist. Gently bring your right knee back into your chest. Walk your left knee into your chest. Hug your thighs. So both your legs are fused like as if you have one leg right now. No space between your thighs. And then no space between your belly and your thighs. Press your thighs into your belly. Flex both feet. I want that lower back to press down. So any unwanted energy will ground into the earth. Take your, the base of your feet parallel to the ceiling, widen your stand. So use your hands to separate the legs out a little bit. And then you can keep your hands behind your thighs 
or you can hold your big toe or you can hold the outer edge of your legs. Happy baby. And rock your legs from side to side, massaging the lower back a little bit more. Gently extend your legs all the way out. So leg up the wall. Pull your legs towards your body. You can keep your hands behind your thighs for support. And then gently lift your head up off the ground. And walk your hands a little bit towards your calf muscles. Towards your ankles. Or towards your toes. And breathe. Gently bend your legs. Drop your head down. Bring your knees into your chest. Let's draw circles. Separate your legs out slightly and then massage your back one more time. And reverse. Let's do one bridge position to support the lower back before we extend our legs. Drop your feet into bridge position feet. In bridge position, our thighs are never hugging each other. We have space between our thighs. Rest your hands next to the body and gently release your hips off the ground. And now slowly place your shoulder blades down to the ground. Your mid back, lower back, your tailbone. And now slowly start to extend your legs with your hands over your head. And let's give one full body stretch. Release, separate your hands out, separate your legs out. Coming into final resting position, Shavasana. Allow your toes to relax in the most natural way. Don't try to hold on to your ankle. Just let go so that the feet can drop in the most relaxed manner. Relax your wrists and the center of your palms so that your fingers can curl and find comfort in the most natural manner. Bring your awareness back to your breath. Let's all take one slow breath in and a long breath out. One more slow breath in and a long breath out. Feel the support of the earth beneath and try to make your body a little bit more heavy with each breath in and out. And allow your body to simply sink into the mat without holding on to any muscle. Just know that there is support beneath and it's okay to let go. Relax all your facial muscles. Try to separate your jaw and try to move your jaw from side to side. Just unhinging the jaw a little bit. Letting go of any tightness in that area. Relax. 
Relax your eyeballs and your eyelids. And relax all your forehead muscles and your temple muscles. Relax the back of your head and the top of your head. Let's take one slow breath in to calm the muscles and nerves of the head region. Your total body is relaxed now. Very gently, bend both knees and turn your body towards your right side. And take the support of your hands to make your way up into a seated position with your eyes closed. Bringing your hands to the heart center with the thumb touching the heart center. If you wish to make a small prayer for your loved ones and the world around you, you may do that at this time. Whenever you're ready, gently begin to open your eyes by first bringing the gaze towards the floor and slowly coming up to eye level. Let's all take a bow together and say Namaste. Namaste. Thank you all for joining the session today. I will see you all next Tuesday. Thank you. Have a wonderful week ahead.